Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, fuck June it. 19th, B-Day. The Allies is a mark in Japan. Sure. Mm. Oh, it's looks such like a strange atmosphere in here. Nice rhyme. It looked like the intro of one of these Metal Slug games, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> these flickering lights. I guess they are candles. Oh. oh my god, I'm going to regret this, but sure, go ahead. <laughs> no, no, you can do that. No Good sir, who might you be? Ah! Ah! <laughs> um, I mean, my name is Phoenix, right? Oh, you must be that good sir. Oh. Good sir, is she talking about me? <laughs> she's the madame, you know? She, she <laughs> controls the girls here, you know? She's drinking something that is overfilling. I don't want to ask what it is, you know? But it looks like something that shouldn't be there. <laughs> <laughs> are you all right over there? <laughs> you are a lawyer. Are you? Are you Stop not a good sir? <laughs> and she's the, you know she's saying being all high society and so on. She's slurping from that shit that is almost finished. <laughs> okay, is there like candle wax? <laughs> I mean, there is a more of that mm, candle wax yeah. right there. <laughs> It's like she had a, the raw leg of a goat or something, and she was eating it raw, you know? <laughs> I have heard much about yeah. you from Mystic Maya. Two Cs. Is that so? <laughs> Mystic... Double, two Cs. Maya. I am Maya. Mystic... Two Cs, Maya's <laughs> aunt. Morgan Fay. Morgan Fay, ma'am. I was about to say that. Ni <laughs> nice to meet you, Morgan Fay. Ah, I wanted to ask, uh, I wanted to speak with you about a certain incident, good sir. It would oh. seem that perhaps you ask too much of Mystic Maya in performing your call of duties. Most mm. unbecoming, I'm afraid. Ooh, she, she knows, you know, she knows what you did in the office at that time, that night when you thought no one was looking. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm? Don't tell me you have already forgotten. <laughs> That was it. That was it. Not for <laughs> Mystic Maya <laughs> and the resistance. You were surely not have won. First, first the girl that runs away, and now an old lady who says I stink at doing my job. When did <laughs> become? Did I become the poster boy for how not to make a first impression? <laughs> oh, the pre past is the past, though. Let us speak of the present now. <laughs> Frank, bro, you know? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the present. Give him a. Give her a present, please. You. You have to give her a present. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? What do we have? I mean, we have to check what she says. You know. Yeah. Have to know. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, we can check the walkway right here. The catwalk. Watch everything, you know. This is where the medium sits, I assume. There are four panels on this flooring. The straw but. in the flooring feels a little... Straw? Oh, yeah. Feels a little damp. Prob <laughs> really dank. Probably from the humidity in the air. But what? Did, did, did he say you were the medium's shit? I <laughs> guess this is an altar. Whatever it is, it feels very important. A mirror-like object with a cloudy, reflective surface. And some branches of a sacred tree have been set in pre-determined arrangement. Good me, sir, I will wonder <laughs> if you would please not touch the sacred objects. Those objects are being offered to the spirits. If you were to touch them, good sir, they would become cursed. Yes, cursed! J she really didn't have to talk down on me. I'm not that much of an idiot. <laughs> you know, this looks more and more like a Thieves Guild quest. <laughs> <laughs> more like, more actually, more more like Baal, uh, the um, shit, the Assassin Peter? Guild. Come on, mm. Dark Brotherhood. The, <laughs> the Kokujin Barrel. The folding screen is really showing its age. All of its edges are a bit tattered. The lettering is fading too. I think I recognize a few of the characters on here. Ku, da, in. I'm pretty sure that's what it says. Maybe I'll ask Maya about it later. Well, Kuda in village, obviously, you know, it's mm. obvious. Oh, let's, let's check this. 
there is some empty space behind the folding screen. The light of the candles can't reach back there, so it's completely dark. Secret passageway, calling it now. Ooh, wait a minute. You can, you can examine something over there, you know? For a second, I saw it. Wait, I saw it. Where? Up, uh, uh, wait a minute. Below? What? Below? No, below. To the left. To the left. Up. Oh, right here? Yeah. More to the left. No, more, more to the right. <laughs> and up. Oh, oh, yeah. Up. Up. And to the left. No. I think I saw something there, you know? Like in the dark area between the in the ceiling. Like, oh, right here? Mm. No, it doesn't look like it. Mm. Are you here? No. No, nothing. Mm. It was a okay. ghost. I think we have to give her a present to appease the spirits, you know? Yeah, sure. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. So the, today's channeling will be her first. Yes, good. The sir, <laughs> because the spirit of a person who dies in a traffic accident dent is usually very strong. It is usually easier to call that person and to our world. Tra <laughs> traffic accident <laughs> indeed. The channeling will take place here in this channeling. Chamber, good sir. <laughs> As you can see, I am in the <laughs> process of drinking. <laughs> I wonder what she's preparing. Huh? <laughs> oh. Filling her bladder, it seems. So this is the channeling chamber, the place where her spirit medium speaks <laughs> with those who have departed. <laughs> Don't suppose suppose you would mind if we observe the session. Do not even think of such nonsense. Only the medium and the client may enter here. Like, it's gonna make <laughs> things more complicated. <laughs> she became hard to wait this now, eh? <laughs> Oh! The secrets of the Kudain techniques cannot... <laughs> ...not be seen by just anybody. <laughs> that never stopped Maya from doing it in front of me before. It is also for your safety, good sir. If something were to go wrong, only two people die. That is why, while channeling is being performed, that heavy door is securely locked. So no one can escape. Oh, that's what the lock is for. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hmm. So we only have... Yeah, okay, so we only have... We can, we can ask her about Maya. Yeah? Oh, Wait. there's more? <laughs> really? Yeah, there was a... Oh. Yeah, we can go. Bye. Oh, <laughs> we left the guy. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, right. We can <laughs> slide. Oh, yeah. Maduro. Oh, yeah. Maduro. So why do you get Mystic to Maya's name? Isn't that a little strange? So why do you get Mystic to Maya's name? Isn't that a little strange? Ah, good sir. <laughs> oh. Yes. How dare oh, you be so rude and <laughs> disrespectful towards Mystic Maya? I am Gomenne. She must be addressed by a proper title, good sir. You must call her Mystic Maya. Um. Uh. So about Mystic Maya, yeah. Is it the blood? The, the blood. blood? Excuse me. me? Yeah. Blood. <laughs> Stop with that. Mystic <laughs> Maya carries the blood of the master. <laughs> In actuality, she is the only one remaining. Only one remaining. Ooh. What's that supposed to mean? That she has to breathe mm. to produce more, you know? <laughs> this is the channel, what is mean? Mystic Maya is the, the last of the rightful heirs of the Kurain channeling technique. Okay then, oh. where do you stand? That is a little more <laughs> complicated, like women. Although, a woman, speaking of which, of the Fey Clan, <laughs> I am merely a member of the Branch family. Oh, so you are you're a gaijin, and eh? you're not a pure, pure blood, eh? So you, mm, mm. <laughs> branch family. <laughs> What's that? It is as <laughs> it sounds. Serious, you know? For a member of the <laughs> Ange family, well, I mean, no matter her spiritual power, she can never become the master of the <laughs> Kurain school. school. <laughs> so how strong are you? Over nine thousand. It is a shame how. <laughs> Ever, I will admit, I cannot even begin to compare the lowliness of 
of my power of to the masters. Uh, so that's how it is. The master is Maya or what? I'm not sure actually. Lee. Oh yes. I wonder if you have yet to meet Pearl, good sir. Pearl. She is an adorable, angelic young girl. <laughs> Younger. I'm getting too much, um, too much, too much oxygen gin in my head at this point. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's odd. She is my daughter. Now then, what was oh. it you were about to say? What? Uh, you thought you have <laughs> a pure heart that knows not of the evil. In this world is a powerful thing, good sir. Please refrain from affiliating with her. I request. <laughs> What? But, uh... It's not like I had the chance anyway. I must insist and stress that you not let it occur. Okay, I can't get it. So she's asking you to stay away from her daughter, you know, and you better do it otherwise. Yeah, yeah, she's basically getting like shielded from, from the reality of life. But, you know, give her a present, you know, give her the badge, you know, so she knows that we're a lawyer. No, no, don't head towards the door. No. Meditation yeah. room is on the other side of this very heavy looking door. There's a giant iron lock oh. where the handle is. A giant iron cock. Feels it's, like a... Feels like a curtain <laughs> that separates the normal world from the spirit one. Okay. Yeah, cocks have the right effect, you know. Yeah, Ooh, sure. The candle. You can, you can examine the candle. No, that was all, no, no, that was already yeah. checked, as you can see. It's just a <laughs> tatami med right here. Well, this is a, pro, a prank. It's just a prank, bro. Uh, let's go back to Doctor. We can actually go to the Winding Way. Mm. Well, we know by now, by so, the way, that Pearly or Pearl, however she's called, is definitely going to play a major role here. Yep. <laughs> wow, this gotten <laughs> really breathtaking. <laughs> Someone put a lot of love into it. <laughs> what is it over there? Is that an incinerator? It looks like a ran. <laughs> it looks like a little out of place in a garden like this. You don't say. <laughs> Who has a fucking it's incinerator a in a Zen garden? <laughs> well, you know, examining it. I see. It's a small incinerator. I don't think garbage trucks come all the way out here to 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 tiny villages like this. So every family has to burn their own trash. Sick. That's and what better? What better place than to burn, to burn the trash, you know, than at the same garden? Can <laughs> 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 you imagine? Someone at the same garden burning <laughs> A splendid garden with a, <laughs> with a small lamp and traditional decorations. It's a bit small to walk around in. You're not supposed to walk on it. Although that incinerator <laughs> piques my curiosity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's part of modern Sam, yeah. <laughs> it looks like there's a room over there, too. A peaceful feeling is emanating from it, right next to the incinerator, yeah. A peaceful feeling emanating from it? Really? <laughs> it's it's a broken. really old urn. The, the, old urn, the, urn. the ashes of a person long dead are inside. Well, that's, that's, How do that's you awesome. Know? It looks is like... he a medium as well? <laughs> well, I mean, just look at the incinerator. It looks like something <laughs> wrong... Uh, something with a long history. Other than that, it's not very interesting. So time to move on. Okay. By long history, you think he means like history is a metaphor for something else and it's long? Like long history, you know? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Go to the side chick. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks like the room from Juan the Grudge, the third movie, actually. Yeah, what? why do we talk into a room where someone is probably sleeping, you know? Why are we? <laughs> nah, it's a dead person. <laughs> so this <laughs> is the side room. Looks like it's more of a break room. Yeah, sure. Why is why were there bedding in a freaking break room, though? There is bedding spread out on the floor. It looks like something's sleeping and... Well, never mind. <laughs> hey, I told you. I told you. I shouldn't disturb them, but I totally should. Yeah, so, I do it. Is it that person? <laughs> They're spreading... Spread, spread out on the floor. Everybody do the dinosaur. Is that someone sleeping in over here? Over there? She's probably in an exhausted medium taking a break and catching some Z. <laughs> <laughs> catching some Zs. <laughs> Some zombies! If I wake her up, she might be grumpy and throw a spell on me. That, that, that's what Bible Black would be, and then there would be a sex scene. Yeah. It's probably a good <laughs> idea to not disturb her sleep. You assume... Oh, we should totally do it, you know? Yeah, you assume <laughs> that person's gender. It's, it's fucking 2020, yeah. come on. Mm. 
Could be an attack helicopter, yeah. It's a small alcove, mine's way bigger. I have no idea what it's <laughs> supposed to mean or symbolize. If I had one of these in the office, I would end up as a it would end up as a storage space. But there it's decorated with some pretty flowers and a beautiful hanging scroll. Which you can't examine. Mm. Not though. It's a decorative wooden bear sculpture. There's a plate attached to the base. Kudain village, the heart of a channeling. What the it's a souvenir! So does this mean it's easy to spot bears here and for them to spot you? Maybe it's a gift from the Soviet Union, you know? Yeah, bear, insert bear pun. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to bear with us. This is the first time I've seen a sliding door like this in person. From here, I can see the winding way and the little garden in the courtyard. Might be relevant, maybe. If there's a murder scene taking place. Let's see. Mm, examine the bed again. <laughs> Mm, wait. Mm, let's so go can... to the winding way. Ah, okay. Uh, you do that. Mm, who is this? Woman? Man? I don't woman? Know. We don't know. <laughs> Throw your heart into it. <clears throat> hey, you criminal scam! <laughs> 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 You're stolen goods and now for. <laughs> Hold on. Tick. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Look like, like the lyrics of that chick around. <laughs> Hold on now. These guys got a few questions to ask. Oh, yeah. I know who it is. Lada? Hmm. I'm sure yeah. I've heard that. So yeah, saw the accent but somewhere before. I definitely do her because she is the fucking best character in the game. Ooh, yes. You do her, eh? Lada. I think she was called Lada Love or Lada Heart, something like that. Her oh. face reminds me of a shark. Yeah, like Sharknado. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's, that's pretty spot on. <laughs> oh, well, I'll be. It's Mr. Phoenix Wright. How you been? I haven't seen you in what a year. Um, you are, uh, lot of... <laughs> lot of hard, yeah. <laughs> lot of hard, okay. You're a lot of hard, right? Bingo! I'm the one and only paranormal photographer, a lot of heart. Ah, so I guess you're still is still at it. <laughs> Being a photographer, I mean. Of course! Today I'm gonna get myself a real scoop, you'll wait and see. Oh, that's right. There ain't no time to be wasting time. The challenge is about <laughs> to be started. Is it that time already, Mom Spaghetti? The thing of the month. We all sure are up and get to the meditation room. What are you what? waiting around for? Come on! Shouldn't be... Weren't we forbidden to... Well, yeah, I was wondering. <laughs> uh, that is the challenge room, okay, okay. Lot of heart, huh? I've been judging Lot her... Of heart. ...harshly because of that, Kase. But, mm. I guess looking back, we had some good times, too. Yeah, we actually, but, like, nailed... Like, I wasn't saying nailed her in the courtroom, but you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, so we went against her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she was like a paranormal paranormal photographer from the States. <laughs> mm. Meditation room. Not, the paranormal photographer sounded like a retired photographer. <laughs> well, she is from Texas after all. We will now begin the channeling. Mystic Maya and honored guest, please proceed into the channeling chamber. With this, I can finally swap all those pesky flies once and for all. Yeah, pretty sure about that. Not me. <laughs> I won't be able to say a single bad thing about me after this. <laughs> you won't have to hear them apologize, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you be sad, right? <laughs> me? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, sure I would. <laughs> it's gonna hold mm. up in court. Mystic Maya, mm. do you have... <sighs> the channeling chamber key. Oh, I might have actually accidentally dropped it into my cup. <laughs> into my cup? Yeah, right here. It's a skeleton key. <laughs> that is most satisfactory. That yeah. is that key is one of a kind. So please take care of it well. It will be fine, Aunt Morgan. Freeman. Don't <laughs> lose it. <laughs> okay, Doctor Gay. That's right. Let's get, it <laughs> Let's get it started, Doctor Gay. I'm. <laughs> Finally, let's call. All right. Kick. This is the sound of the door, you know. <laughs> now let us wait patiently out 
appear for them. Please have some. What? <laughs> we have to wait here while listening to this one. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. Some lovely bitter green tea and jaw-droppingly large strawberry desserts. Oh, about cocks. oh, now, Granny. Granny. Ooh, ooh, oh, How come ooh. we ain't allowed in the room? Dear Madame, you have an impressive grasp of English. From where did you learn it? <laughs> Why, I'm from the heart of the heartland. <laughs> Is that so, Daddy. then? I humbly request that you return <laughs> to this heart of the heartland. <laughs> Sigburn? Why, uh, mm -hmm. this is Kudain village. Could you it? If you cannot follow our traditions and rules, we request that you leave. <laughs> it's a good profile picture, actually. <laughs> mm. Sorry. Wow, oh, she shot Lana up. Now that's impressive. Now then, let us wait. <laughs> Damn, I thought we could, like, actually... All right. Bang. Gang bang. How? Bang bro. Oh, uh... <laughs> what was that just now? <laughs> it came from inside the channeling chamber. It exploded. Bang bros. That's actually con that's actually quite concerning now. Alright, that's a gunshot. Excuse me. I told you. I told you there was gonna be a crime here, you know? Yeah, true, yeah. I've heard that sound before, it's a gunshot. I'll bat my afro on it. <laughs> Hey. Maya's in there. Um, do we just break into the chamber? Uh, we ask Morgan Freeman about. It. <laughs> Should we? <laughs> then we get a then we get a Morgan Freeman documentary. No, no, of course we break in. Right. Okay, let's go. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what's the plan? What else we're going to break in? What? But but there's only one key on that kid's got it. Okay, we're gonna have to break the door. Is that all right, Miss Faye? Well, yes, but there is one matter that is... Don't, don't try to stop me! You can send the repair bill to the right and cold call cold law offices later. Yeah, that's what I call being a man. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, he died. Look at that. No more racial but, <laughs> but the door was locked and that was the only way in. Dr. Gay. Yeah, but they were inside, you know, Kim and Maya. And she fucking Lada. The, the, in, in, in the first game, you know, she, all, she also had, like, the, the photography that we had to debunk. Again, with the fucking photography. <laughs> mm. I think that's you. What does she... Oh, she channeled the... She channeled the ghost. Yeah. Ah, that's... that's yeah, that's... The, yeah, okay, okay. There you go, yeah, that's the girl. What that she was murdered. Maya. That man murdered me. Well, that's not helping now, you know. <laughs> so I killed him. Look what? at that, you know, you can see her cleavage. You can see her boobs from there, right behind, yeah, right behind the him, you know. Look at that. Look She's at that. underage, thank you very much. She's not. Like, <laughs> like the spirit killing him doesn't help us in our case now. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. Oh god damn it! Can you get someone? If we shouldn't have broken in, we should have first got make sure that Lada is out of the way. Actually, because she's fucking infuriating me at this point. Lada at a time like this, times like this are perfect for snapping up shots. <laughs> but anyway, what's going on here? This gal, she Maya. Step away from there. Please leave this area to me. <laughs> Go quickly and inform the police. Ba bud Hurry, before there are some victims here. More victims here. I just got to say, boy. Leave this door to Granny. Oh, she wants to mess with the crime scene alone while we're away. Might be. Might be. Maybe, maybe they are actually con... Nah, they can't be connected. I don't think so. Could be. Nothing is discarded, you know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but nothing is proven that it is the fact, you know. My cell phone doesn't get re reputation reception way out there, so I ended up using the phone booth to call the police. I think that's also gonna be relevant. We're gonna see. And they're on their way. 
That's good. Lordy. I saw a genuine mysterious phenomenon. She seems really on edge because of all this. Not that I blame her, I'm scared to, to death by what's going on. Can we just Present? go back in there? Maybe we can. Present? You can't? Ah, uh, yeah. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. You know, just to convince her that we're actually a lawyer, you know, in this situation that is hard for her. She's, she's, she's hyperventilating, look at that. She needs reassurance. We need to reassure her that we are a lawyer and we will take good care of her, you know? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, mister! That gal, Maya. She wasn't the one that pulled the trigger, was she? Hey, where is the gun? Like, was there a gun? Yeah, that, that's also what I'm what I'm like, curious about. Like, okay, I, maybe she can channel a person, but she can channel a fucking gun. I kind of doubt that. Tell him, you know, you know what happened, you know? You know that in animus when someone sees boobs or something, you know, they bleed from their nose? She opened her... Tunic, you know, and showed the tips to him, and he bled, he bled through the nose and bled out and died. Oh yeah, Lala doesn't know that when Maya <laughs> is channeling, her whole physical appearance changes. Yeah, again, where are the, the there are only the two of them in there? I reckon she must have done it then. Wait a minute, her whole physical appearance changes, you know, like she she moves the fringe, you know, over her eyes. And she was a bit more of cleavage. Is that how it changed? <laughs> so what? Well, she also got a bit. She also was a little bit taller, like the girl that died in the accident. But you know, it's just like as we said, as the conspiracy theories basically said, you know, that the mm. guy actually killed her off to cover up something that he was behind, like killing all the people because maybe they got a cure for cancer or something. Uh. Lada, what do you know about Doctor Gray? Not much, but I did some digging. <laughs> <laughs> you did some digging to bury the body. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the killer. <laughs> that's one gent. That's one gent with a bad reputation. Really? I hear he's good at surgery and stuff, but this person now, these things like wet sheep. I sort of got the same impression myself. He's he's real <laughs> controlling. As soon as his nurse or patients don't do what he says, he starts a hollering. Must have oh been real tough of, to work for him. Okay. And so he paid the ultimate price. Death! Fisher price. <laughs> Let's see. 